It's basketball time at the Convo. Over 10,000 strong for Dad's weekend to see if the Bobcats can make it 8-0 at home. They've won their last four games against Bowling Green Falcons, but there's a reason that you play the game. First quarter, Bobcats start out quick, finding a wide open Michael Allen for three. He finished up with 10 points and six assists on the night. Outside shooting was key for the Bobcats early on, finding Tommy Freeman against the zone. He hits three, putting the Bobcats up. BG, though, coming off a tough Miami loss where they shot just 20% from three. Not the case this time, says Scott Thomas, the 6'6 freshman, as he puts the Falcons up early, 15 to 12. Poor shooting and untimely turnovers, just 31% from the field in the first half. More outside shooting troubles for the Bobcats. It's been something that's been a problem over the past few games, and it just kept going this game. When the 2-3 zone was intact, it was tough to shoot. Here's what Coach Gross had to say about that. The unfortunate thing is in basketball, at some point in time, it kind of comes down to you know, making a play here or there or a shot here or there. And, and uh, you know, we shot 27%, and that's very uncharacteristic of us. Uncharacteristic. We'll talk about that later. Here's Jerome Tillman, though, finishing off the first half with, of course, another three. Nodding it up at 25, he would have 20 on the day. To the second half we go. Things started off well for the Bobcats, finally able to get a little bit of penetration. There's Devon Washington with the turnaround jumper. He would finish with just four points on the afternoon, converting one and four from the strike. He would come back to haunt the Bobcats. One of the few standout plays, there's Michael Allen with the drive and the lane. Ensuing Bobcat possession. Allen brings the ball up the court and finds a wide open Justin Orr for guess what? Another three, putting the Bobcats up 47-44. But just when things looked in favor of the green and white, Bowling Green cute, Daryl Clements gets himself a bird and knocks down the three. Promptly, next play on Bowling Green's possession. Ball finds Clemens again. Gets it, dribbles inside. Pull up jumper, hits, and that's good. Possibly taking the lead for the last time in the game. Things get dicey now. Last possession for the Bobcats here. Inbound to Tillman. Tillman puts it up, but get that weak stuff out of here. Chris Knight with the block. One more chance for the Bobcats. Allen inbounds it to Tillman, of course. Finds his way to Justin Orr. No good for the Bobcats. They go on to lose this one 52-51. Here's what Coach Gross had to say after the game. Anytime I've got uh, these two guys that are sitting next to me out there, I feel pretty good. We practice special situations a lot. And, um, you know, we uh, they, they defended a couple of the actions pretty well at the end of the game. But um, it's, both of those things are things that we've actually ran in practice up to this point. And, and um, you know, if I had to do it over again, I'd do the exact same thing over again.